We're back. You know, my next guest for playing Lois Lane on the television show Lois and Clark. Starting Sunday, she can be seen starring in the new ABC series, Desperate Housewives. Please welcome Terry Hatcher. Yeah. Sexy I entrance. Little, well, I just got a little inspired by yeah. the by the music there. Oh, that was okay with me. Hey, how are you? Nice I'm to good. see you. you Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> you threw me there. I'm like, wow, she looks great. Now look at me. Uh, <laughs> No, we have so much to talk about here okay. on the show. I want to talk about the show in just a second uh, that you're doing, because a lot of people really like this show, Desperate Housewives. But I want to ask you first about the debate last night. Oh, yeah. Because I know a lot of us watched the debate, but you watched it with... My one, daughter. With I your daughter. I watched it with my daughter. She's six. That's and so I funny, because yeah. you think, I think, like, is that something you watch with a six-year-old? And what would well, a six-year-old think of the debate? I debated whether that was a good idea or not. Wow. <laughs> um, but I, I talked to her about it during the day. I sort of explained what a debate is and, you know, what this event was. And right. she said she wanted to try watching it, so we did. And uh, about halfway through, she got her crayons out and her coloring pad and started coloring. And so did I, the president, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was too easy. Yeah. I saw him just yeah. going... Oh, it's easy. What? Well, I was wrong. And I noticed that she ended up doing a picture of John Kerry, and you know, with the blue background and the red tie and the whole thing, and it was really. You could good. tell it was Kerry as oh, opposed yeah. to. Oh That's no, really kind good. Of that sort of, you know, that high hair. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and um and the red tie and right. and so it was so good that I said, and the debates were over, and I said, you know. What did you think that John Kerry was trying to say? I could put like a little bubble and, and you know, we could put it in the picture. Sure. So what did you get out of it? And, and she said four things. The first thing she says, uh, I want to be president. Right. And then she said, I think I can make better rules than you. Mm -hmm. and, then she, and then she said, um, I figure I can do it better. Right. And then she said, I don't want you to win. <laughs> That's really great. I mean, yeah. for a, for a six-year-old, six that, that's that all. Was, that's the essence. Pretty much, you cut the hour and a half right out <laughs> yeah. of it. And, you know, and that's he could have just come out and said that. Yeah. 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 He yeah. would have sounded like the Hulk. Me do better rules. <laughs> <laughs> I want win, but uh, but still, no, I that's, just want you to win. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I love it. Kids can distill the essence. Did you ask her what you thought the president was trying to say at any I point? I did, and she said, I said, and she said, he said a lot of, um, mmm. Right, right, um, right, right. She said, she said he started everything with, hmm. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, that's what she got really out of Really perceptive for, you know, it would have been cool to see uh, your daughter as one of the spin people. Because after the debate, <laughs> everyone else is talking, but I wish that they would just cut to kids. I know, because well, kids so would just, honest, Yeah, they, they just cut through all the noise. Absolutely. That's so a good it idea. Was, it was amazing, as really, actually, her perception of the thing. I was, it was very interesting. Except Fox TV would find really partisan kids. <laughs> <I know. laughs> They're spinning. Um, I think I, now I didn't get to talk to you, but I saw you at the uh, at the Emmys, and oh, you got yeah. to present and everything. Did it you have was, a good time? I did. It was so fun to sort of you know be back with this whole new show and everything. Right, and um, right. that's something though that's changed. So I feel like I've been out of the business for you know six years or so. The Emmys has changed. No, or? the swag has really changed. Oh, the gift basket. Yeah, the gift basket. Because I, I, I don't know. I had presented at the Emmys years ago, and I didn't get. I mean, it was insane. Did you get that whole thing with the? The TV and the, the trip. That's and what's the... crazy is that it starts out like, uh, you know, like 10 years ago or 11 years ago when I started in the business. You, you're, you, whatever, you go to the Emmys or you do something, you present at the Emmys and you get like a, a pinwheel hat when you leave. Yeah, or like a banana and a grape or something like that. Yeah. No, but then, just... then it changed into this crazy, uh, crazy gift bag yeah, that crazy. has all this stuff in it. Except a lot of it is coupons. Like, I mean, great. You know, like a, a first class trip to, I don't know, Greece or something. I mean, it was really, I was sort of blown away and I'm, um, oh God, I hit my mic. It's better than having it fall down in there. <laughs> well, then I have to go in yeah, after it. I'm going in. I'm like Joaquin Phoenix on a rope. I'll get it. Don't worry. Wee. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm not too skinny, all right. Uh, I'm not too skinny, am I? You are so not too skinny. There you go, you all right. Really uh, good. No, all right. Yeah. Uh, having um, it out with this woman over here. Uh, uh, okay, wait. So but no, no, it, it, it is. I got uh, thrown with the down no, by I'm bus. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. You think you were thrown? I was thrown. But you, uh, you, you oh, like no, coupons, don't well, you? Well, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. So the, a lot of it was like these trips and coupons, and right. and so I, I hope that I use it because I sometimes have a, I have a big file of coupons. Do you really cut out coupons from like a, a like newspaper? Like the newspaper. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, there, anybody could use them. And sure. It just seems I think like that's it, good. I think that's. It's like free money, right? That you can take it to Ralph's and get the two, two for one or I whatever. I think that's really good. Right? Does anyone ever say, well, you're Terry Hatcher. Why are you trying to get eight cents off this melon, you know? <laughs> No one ever gives no, you a hard here's time. Here's the trick with coupons. See, I'm really, I'm really. That's like I, uh, thinking about this. If you, if you get sucked into buying stuff with coupons that you wouldn't normally buy, right. then you're not actually saving money. Then right. you're spending extra money. So you have to really be honest with yourself about whether or not right. you would get those. It's like I saved ravioli. on this Yamaha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? So yeah, I do. I, I love sales. Yeah. I love a good deal. I'm you a like girl a good who deal. loves a good deal. I think yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. I yeah. think that's very cool. Now, what's this, this show, Desperate Housewives? Mm -hmm. people, uh, people are really liking the show. Are you going to do anything fun for the premiere of the show? Are you going to watch it at home with your friends? Or? Uh, no, I wanted to watch it at home with my friends, but they're, you know, have, they're giving us a, a really big premiere party on Sunday night when oh. the show airs, and it's between, uh, it's like the party goes from 8 to 11. But we have to be at work at like 5 o'clock on Monday morning to film more of the show. Right. And so I decided that it would be a really good idea to go to the premiere in my pajamas. So, I'm liking it, yeah. So I think, cool. yeah. So I think because, you know, it's really nice that they're having it, but it's late at night. And then it's just sort of seemed to be a good theme for the whole desperate, being desperate housewife, which I can relate to. Because right. you've got to get up the next morning and take the kids to school. So I think all of us are going to go in our pajamas. Well, I'm going to tune in for the premiere then. <laughs> uh, Desperate Housewives, uh, really great reviews. People really like the show. I haven't it's... read them because I, I don't do that, but I've heard that they're good. And yeah. So knock on wood. You That's know, not I'm... wood. Uh... Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, She's right. Oh, oh. oh yay! Yeah. I like the way that interview ended. Uh, Desperate Housewives premieres this Sunday night at 9 on ABC. Terry Hatcher, thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah, nice to have you on the show. Terry Hatcher, we'll be right back with Supergrass. Stick around.